Happy Halloween. Woo. I like that on the, the title card, you had me in a witch's hat because I was thinking right before this, I wish I had a witch's hat. Like, it just and I worked cool. so hard on this. <laughs> I've also got my Halloween mug. Yeah, I didn't uh, think that far ahead because my computer decided to just like lose its mind today. Oh, fun. And yeah, I, I spent like the better part of the day trying to fix it, which I somehow think I have. Okay, I mean, that's but, something. Yeah, it wouldn't even like, it just blue screened on me and then wouldn't boot up, so. Well, I'm glad that that's no longer <laughs> happening. Yes. So I didn't get to put that much thought into it, but I did put on this Halloween t-shirt or Halloween adjacent t-shirt that I purchased. I do love it. Oh, um, yeah, take a wild place. stab as to which of the two of us is crazier about Halloween. <laughs> I mean, I don't know that it's craziness about Halloween. It's level of effort, you know, that I'm yeah. willing to expend. Or that I had time to expend. I was going to pull out my costume bin, and then I just didn't have time. I suppose I'll allow it. Because uh, my computer that isn't even six months old, and, you know, was like 1600 bucks or whatever... Whatever. I have been there with the computer problems thing. I do understand. But uh let's uh let's kick it off with a with a spooky vibe check. How we doing? Also, anyone in the uh, comments who's watching, feel free to answer that question as well. We'd love to know. I I am currently feeling cautiously optimistic that my computer problems are fixed. Because it's not even like it's not even like I couldn't like do work, which was like, oh bummer. But like I couldn't play video games on it either. So that's mm. that's like and we worse. cannot have that. No. Not in this house. But again, I think it's working. So I'm cautiously optimistic because I only fixed it like an hour ago. All right. Like I was thinking about texting you being like, oh, there's a slight chance if I can't figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I'm I always feel like a did. computer pro. You know, I'm like looking up things and typing stuff in the command prompt. I'm like, look at me. I'm a coder. Mm, noise. <laughs> um, as far as my current vibe, uh, honestly, pretty solid. Mostly I would like to report back after the Lorna Shore concert that I attended, which was fucking insane. And also just the shirt design is really giving like skeleton Mad Max. Hmm. Mm hmm. But, um, yeah, I saw four bands for, like, $50. That's pretty good. Which is not bad in this The Year of Our Dark Lord 2024. I saw Sanguish Sugabog, who was honestly a lot better live than I was expecting. They kind of have, like, a wall of noise thing going. And I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. But then actually seeing them produce that live was pretty cool. I do not fuck with Kublai Khan TX. And people can judge me for that as they see fit. It's wife beater music. But Whitechapel was awesome. And Lorna Shore fucking slayed. Craziest pit I have ever been in in my entire life. I had a wonderful time. Also, Will Ramos, lead singer of Lorna Shore. That man sounds like a garbage disposal. And I mean that as a compliment. I don't know how he does what he does. He literally makes sounds... Like you are rubbing two bricks together. Mm -hmm. Also, I made bracelets for them, and I managed to toss them up to um, the opening one of the opening bands beforehand with a little note that was like, "Can you pass these on, please?" And when they came out, I'm pretty sure the guitar player was already wearing his. Oh, that's nice. So that I was super cool. for like fun, bright colors. Ah. Uh... Well, they all had, it was everybody in the band's names with a skull on, with like a skull bead on either side. And then it was sparkly black and then a color. I think I did green, red, orange, blue, and purple because there's five people. No pink. How dare you? I was going to, but then I was like, because black and red is my favorite. And I feel like that's a very popular color combination for a metal band so i was like mm, i could do pink and black or i could do red and black and i was gonna go red and black by the way it's been throwing me off your costume in the background there because it like it looks so out of place 
<laughs> just being like so pink, you know, like yep. for weeks. Cause it's just like, and it's not really. I had to take my black nail polish off today. Yeah, it's generally not a color you have in your home. It really is. I mean, I have my like, I am Ken off sweatshirt that I wear yeah. fairly often, but yeah. And also, that's as also you Barbie. Can see, I have successfully finished your scythe. So she awaits. Oh, I do see it now. I hadn't noticed it in the background. All right. Uh, with the vibe check out of the way, I want to get into the first question that I have for us, which is um, it's inspired by a meme that should be popping up on the screen momentarily. Do we think that uh, weed, you know, smoking weed or doing edibles, whatever, would fix or kill the character of uh, Herbert West from Reanimator? Inspired by that little meme that's like, no, Herbert West holding it in doesn't do anything. Yes. Hmm. I really don't know how to answer this question. I feel like it could fix him. It could fix him, but it could also kill him. Yeah, but like, I feel like he has such a manic energy. He definitely needs you know? to relax. Also, uh, yeah. coincidentally, I am wearing the reanimator bracelet I made I made for myself, oh, which is just bright green and oh, yeah. sparkly green. Hold that up for the camera. Come on, here's focus. Herbert right here. Love him. Also, a sampling of what I could potentially make for you, dear viewer, if you go to Saratoga Comic Con and purchase a custom bracelet. Mm hmm. Yep, yep. Yeah, but I, he has such a crazy energy to him that I, I feel like if he, as long as he gets like the right strain, I think. Yeah. I think it, he, it would like dial it back a little bit. Just a little bit. He's so tense. Yeah. I don't know. If he would stop trying to bring things back to life, though, he would just be no, like, not at all. More I think it would just it. give him weirder ideas for ways to go about that. Yeah, because, you know, when, when he's it has that manic energy, he doesn't like stop to think. I don't really No, not at all. Anyway, right. But if he was like more chill, he would think things through a little bit more, maybe come up with new ideas. I, God, I would hope. Oh no! But my my when? faith in in homeboy is uh, unfortunately on the floor. I don't know why. By the way, I have grown so attached to this character, like overnight, basically. Yeah, but yeah, it was very sudden. Sometimes the worms in your brain are just like that. Sure. And that is really that kind of a, yeah, I just, hmm. Can you imagine if he had a weed panic attack, though? <sighs> Given the things that he does, um, hey. this is what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Given the things uh, the way that he does when he's not technically panicking. Yeah. Also, the way that I stumbled across this meme, like, apropos of nothing on my Twitter feed rather shortly after I watched the original Reanimator for the first time, sometimes the universe just does things that are really helpful. Yeah. Although, I don't think he would attempt to hold it in in the first place. He's a scientist. He knows. Mm, here's the thing. He is a scientist, but, like, he doesn't know how to interact with, like, people. Yeah. So I don't think he, I don't think anyone would have ever smoked him up before. So why would well, he? Yeah, know? but like, it's science. I suppose. Like, whatever you're absorbing, you absorb when you take it in. Holding it doesn't do anything. I get that. But like, I do want to circle back to him having a weed panic attack, though, because I think he yeah. would become ungovernable. I was going to save this for As the worsening, to. but I already have other things <laughs> even more ungovernable. Because you have your little Herbert, I also have my little Herbie West. He's technically a keychain, but I don't use him like that. And also, <laughs> he yaps, just like in real life. Insane. Sure does. Yeah, I think uh, it runs the chance of calming him down, which he so desperately needs, or 
he would become even more ungovernable and the world would probably end as a result. Yeah, that's what I said. It's it's about finding the the right the right strain. You know, like just getting yeah. pinpointing exactly what it is. And God, and I don't think you could do trial and error with this guy because if he freaks out again, that could be world ending. You'd have to get it right the very first time. So technically, it has the potential to do either, and you just gotta hope that you're really lucky when you pass him the joint. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway. Well, I'm glad we got that worked <laughs> out. Imagining it. Yeah. <laughs> so the next thing that I have is a video that I stumbled across that I thought was kind of fun. It is, let's see, share screen. Yes, please. Oh, he's too short. Tab selected. Share. Uh fascinating i can't see us i can oh wonderful okay so i am looking at it so we have the horror icon survivability tier list so basically what we're gonna do after i close all these goddamn ads is we see all these horror icons here uh, admittedly, I have not seen every single movie that is being referenced on this. Man, why is just everything so many ads now? Um, but do we think we would survive these horror film characters? And honestly, we can skip ones that we aren't familiar with. Because, like, I'll come okay. clean and say that I haven't seen Candyman. So I really I haven't either. could not speak to that. But, um... Let's start with the shark from Jaws. Wait, let, let's. What are the uh, the levels? The so some of the tier. Uh, not surviving, no chance. The category is dead as fuck. Below that, we have losing limbs. Place your bets. So it's a toss up. I got this, and they're my bitch. Oh, yeah. Uh, I would say in the losing limbs category. Yeah, definitely. Like, here's the thing. I could stay out of the water, but if I'm, like, act but like, if that doesn't happen, if I'm, like, the first person, definitely losing limbs at minimum. Yeah. Yeah. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't think if you are actually encountering Jaws, you mm -hmm. are not getting out of it unscathed. No, not at all. So yeah, if you actually encounter it, it's losing limbs at a minimum. I would agree. But I think um, I wouldn't. I don't think I would die. I think I could escape somehow. Here, sort of. maybe. I mean, I know you go for the eyes with sharks. Mm-hmm. And humans. That'll work too. Nick just felt a disturbance in the horror force when Bridget said she hadn't seen candy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working on a lot of things. There are tons of things that I do want to see yeah. just haven't yet yep um Long lists. i do believe these are the critters from critters which also haven't seen i'm so sorry neither have i <laughs> okay what about the thing i have i don't think i have a chance i i think i'm dead see. as fuck if i encounter the thing Don't underestimate I'm remember critters. What... I mean, please, if you have some insight that could help us yeah. out here when we haven't seen something, feel free to share it. We both have some exploring left to do in the horror genre, especially with some of the quote-unquote homework movies. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for the ones we don't know, you can place them. Yes, please. A actually, yeah, if you want to, we'll take your advice. Anyone who's watching, if you've seen a movie that we haven't and we're like, I don't know where to put this, please chime in. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I do honestly, not I haven't think... Seen the thing. Oh, I think I would be fucked. It can shapeshift, mm. man. You don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, you can't... <sighs> That's the thing. Like, for most of the ones that I'm gonna say that I think I could survive... It's going to be because of, like, cunning, not because of strength. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I'm going to say dead as fuck. Yeah. How can you be cunning if you don't even know there's a threat? Precisely. Um... Critters movie seems like a gremlins knockoff, but it's a little better than that. The critters are pretty deadly. Okay. Wait, what did we watch? We watched Hobgoblins, which is a ripoff of a <gasps> ripoff. That's why I was like, I feel like this sound, this feels so familiar. Right, that, it was Hobgoblins. Yeah. Um, hmm. I'm, I'm sort of waiting on you because I can't see the pictures. They're so little. Gotcha. Oh, okay. I can identify, um, most of them I can't. Well, here's a movie I haven't seen, but I would make them my bitch regardless. Chucky, not a problem yeah. whatsoever. Just punt the little fucker. And same thing for the bride of Chucky. Yeah, I, like, I have Maybe if he her. gets the drop on you, you're not going to yeah. have a good time. But like, come on. Is my yeah, counterpoint to that, really essentially. Silly to me. Um. There's is that Annabelle in there too? Yeah, I which also seen one, I haven't seen it, but also I wouldn't fuck with the doll to begin with. Yeah. But I'm also gonna say they're my bitch. I am not scared. Again, just yeah. chuck it. Yeah, that's why I was like, I haven't actually seen Annabelle, but you know, if we're putting dolls in the <laughs> category. Um and you know who I also think would be my bitch just based on like a like a size thing? The the quote unquote child from Orphan. I've got like I'm like a either. foot and a half taller than you. I haven't mm-hmm. seen it either. I just know the plot. You're not gonna be a Uh-oh. problem for me. Interesting. Man, I wonder how many of these I haven't seen. I'm starting to feel very uncultured. <laughs> I am feeling a little bit uncultured too, but um, well, I mean, we've got Pinhead from Hellraiser. Yeah, that's a uh, that is losing lit minimum. No, I I mean his level of like power. Like what? What they did? Yeah, you no. know what? Point taken. Dead as fuck. <laughs> I don't even He's think just... there was a full sentence in there, but you know what I mean. I do know exactly what you mean. You know who I think is another uh, actually, where the fuck did it go? Another dead as fuck? You haven't seen this movie yet, but Art the Clown? Not a chance, brother. Hmm. He is yeah, I'll get around to it. I would not touch the Hellraiser box, but if I am being faced off with any of these uh, icons, no matter what I do, yeah, I would be fucked. Yeah, we're assuming confrontation. Yeah, it has to happen. Let's put it that way. Yeah. You know, but here's a place your bets for me, at least. You've seen Misery, correct? Yeah. Annie, I'm going to say place your bets there. (sighs) Yeah, because she's deceptively, like, evil and sly. But she's also a person who can like make a clumsy mistake, which is exactly what gets her in both the book and the movie. So. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense to me. What do we think about uh, Jigsaw, John Kramer? I'm going to say losing limbs minimum. I don't know why I would be in a saw trap. Yeah. They really are not designed for you to make it out unscathed. Well, yeah, and I mean, most people don't survive them. This is also true. You know, so again, at a minimum, there's memorization of instructions involved. I'm doomed. <laughs> Rip to Chris. <laughs> um. Oh, here's another people where I, th- you know what? Here's my first, I got this. The fucking, the children mm-hmm. of the corn. Yes. I think I can handle it. I don't know if they're children, but there's a lot of them. Because they're children. And there's, like, you know, the potential to be overwhelmed, but I'm pretty sure I got this. You can drop kick a child. Fuck them kids. I don't know. I might put them in the place your bets category, because, like, the numbers alone, if you got a bunch of kids surrounding you with weapons, you can't fight them up all at once. I suppose. Hmm. Yes. 
Hmm. Like, I yeah, if it's right. one kid with a weapon, sure, I'd fight him off. But two, three, four, five, because they, they, you know, gang up on people. Yeah. And, hmm. and you can't, like, see behind you where you're fighting one off, another one comes up and lodges a scythe in your back. This is very true. I keep touching my face, forgetting that I have so much makeup on. Uh, bu- 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 I'm trying to think if there is an I got this, and I think uh, have you, you haven't seen X or Pearl, have you? I have not. Doesn't matter. How do I get yeah. I can do these ads, man? I'm, I'm just pointing out Chris's strategy for the Children of the Corn. Grab so one, one and child. use him as a club against the rest of the kids. I don't necessarily think that it wouldn't work. Yeah, I mean, but they're they're kind of flexible and noodly. I think what you would have to do is like hold them by the ankles and spin really quickly. Yeah, that, that could work. Like a sort of like a propeller. I like it. Oh, <laughs> what a fundamental image. But I think for Pearl, I got this because she's unhinged, but she's mm-hmm. also very like she is a broadsword. So mm-hmm. like she goes berserker mode but does some pretty stupid shit. Hmm. And I think I could exploit that. But also, frankly, I think I could just level with her. Yeah, see, again, it's it's a lot about the, the mind, the cunning. It is about the vibes. Uh, have you seen Predator? Yes. I think I would be fucked in that situation. He can be invisible. Yeah, I yeah, I don't know that anybody really stands a chance. And I'm people. no Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm not that strong. No. No. And keep in mind, like, it I mean, it's a movie. Arnold Schwarzenegger was written, you know, to win, because that's how movies work. But if the predator mm-hmm. were real and you actually encountered that thing oh, God, in real yeah. life. Yeah. So I think if Arnold Schwarzenegger as a person encountered the Predator in real life, he wouldn't survive that. This is very true. Uh, uh, who else we got here? I'm just trying to pick off all the ones that I know well enough to make the call first, and then we can have a group discussion, maybe. Yeah. Well, Freddy Krueger's in there. That's another thing. I think you're kind of fucked there because you have to sleep eventually. Are you trying to avoid ones that are obviously going to kill you? Not necessarily. I mean, we're going to get through this list one way or another, but... Yeah. Well, again, I because the pictures are so small, I can only recognize Hanna, Hannibal Lecter and Freddy Krueger. The rest are I just like little for, shapes. Oh, Michael Myers. I Meyer. think for... Hannibal Lecter, you're losing limbs minimum. I don't necessarily know why I would be on his shit list. No, I I honestly would go place your bets on him. Because, you think you could level with him? Well, no, I think when he kills people, it's often because people like trusted him in a way, you know? You know what? And yeah, I, think I, would just I, I don't think I would so be stupid slimy. enough to do that. No, I, I just find him so unsettling. I would never, <laughs> you know, be in All a right, situation. Yeah. I'd be like, you're giving me the wrong vibes, and I am going to make sure if I'm around you, we're in a very public place. That's solid. I do believe this first image is the villain from the Sleepaway Camp movies, which that just looks like a teenage girl. Yeah, I so, think I got this. Uh, probably, if it's like a regular teenage girl with no special powers. Everyone in those, like, yeah, that's just a slasher, I do believe. Yeah, I think, hmm. I'd like to believe that with regular human beings, like slashers, most of them I would sort of be able to handle. So would we also want to put Ghostface <laughs> In the I got this category. Freaking ghost face. Because, like, that is just yeah. a guy. Well, you haven't seen 
the Scream movies. No, right? I have not seen any of the Scream movies. Then I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> but in the first one, is it not just a dude? Or like, is it not a human person behind it? Whether or not it's multiple human people, person whatever. in this in the costume, yes. I think I don't know, man. I think I might be okay. I'll concede yeah. to a place your bets, but I think in any situation where it's just a guy, unless it's like like I don't think I got this against Jason, even though he is just a guy, because he's huge. He's like freaking immortal. But I don't know, Ghostface maybe. Now Michael Myers is the one who's fucking immortal. Well, they both oh, kind of right, are right. Their insane horror franchises, but still. Yeah, I mean, because you think they like die and then they never die. I'm going to say place your bets for Ghostface. For... I think I would have a chance. <sighs> yeah, I I will agree with that for reasons I won't say. But as far as Jason Voorhees <laughs> losing limbs, I don't know if I, like maybe I yeah. could, maybe I can be fast because he's kind of lumbering. And like yeah. honestly, you know, I'm gonna say the same thing for Leatherface because he's again like yeah. broadsword type energy. So like maybe I could like dart out of the way and run. Yeah. And then problem yeah. solved. Yeah, but if you can't do that, it's game over. What do we think about Norman Bates? I kind of think I got this. What's that twink really going to do to me? To me, it's a somewhat similar argument to Hannibal Lecter in that he, you know, his vibes are off. His vibes are very I, off. Yeah. I don't know that I'd ever be in a situation. Well, I mean, but then he just like goes into people's rooms. So I don't know. But I tend to be paranoid. As am every I. sound, I'm like, someone has come in here to kill me, and I'll like grab a shampoo bottle as a weapon. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, no, which is what again, and also, like, I don't know. I think I got this, man. I really do. Yeah. That is the original Norman Bates, right? It's black and white. It's not uh Correct. Freddie Highmore's Norman Bates. No. Here it he, okay. So the kid from the omen. Hmm. I don't I, seen it. I don't think I like know the plot or like I know the broad strokes of the plot because it's like you know the demon child and I think like the you know the dark energy steps in to protect him a lot mm -hmm. so I like even if I could technically punt a child I don't think the forces that are and he has adult protectors too. I don't think the forces that are at play here would let me get close enough to punt a child. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean that I to that, that I'm going to say losing limbs minimum. Yeah. That that makes sense. Okay. What about Pennywise? They went with the Bill Skarsgård version for the photo, but <sighs> I'm, I'll go. I'll imagine Tim Curry. That's fine. You can kind of just bully him to make him go away, though. I know, but like, <clears throat> yeah, like, first of all, I would never put my arm in a sore drain like Georgie did. Never. No, not at all. You don't like, know what's one of in the there. One of the reasons that it works as a Gross. story is because they're yeah. children. And children do stupid yeah. fucking things and trust people that they're not supposed to. I might go place your bets. Honestly, you're so right, Queen. Feels feels right. Now we're really getting into you know, let's do Michael Myers before we start really getting into things that I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. The immortality part is problematic. Yeah. I don't like my chance. Again. He's kind of slow, like that sort of yeah. like, he never like runs at you. It's always the brisk walk. So like yeah. maybe I could get out of the, like maybe I could lose him. Yeah. But if I have to go head to head with him, I think I'm probably going to like lose an arm or a leg. Yeah. This was to say, I kind of put him on par with Jason and uh, Leatherface. Yeah. Okay. And now I don't know what some of these are. 
Uh, Chris, where do you think the critters belong? Or anyone, anyone who's watching, please share with the class. Yeah, again, I can't. Oh, I think I, that looks like the nun from the nun. But Which I haven't, haven't seen, seen any of those. At the second one, it looks like a nun's black and white. Yeah. Again, I can't really see these. I do have. Gonna losing say losing limbs, limbs critters. for the critters. Okay, sure. I'll trust that. <laughs> I don't think putting on my glasses will help. Oh, no. oh my God, it does. It's not enough, but it does. Wow. Crazy. Is that, is that Robocop? No, it's no. a guy with a gas mask that has a heart on it, and I don't know what that is. Oh, I don't know either. There's a leprechaun yeah, from Leprechaun, which I think I got this. One, I wouldn't touch his oh. gold in the first place, and two, I can drop kick Yeah, we have to it's assume fine. confrontation. I think I got it. See, one yeah, of these, I, I have no idea, because the photo is so dark. Yeah, I can barely make out semi-human shapes. Who's the guy with the hook? I think it's from Creeper. Oh, is it the guy from I Know What You Did Last Summer? Where's the guy with the hook? <laughs> uh, right here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's in a similar category to Ghostface. Okay. I mean, I, I guess. Say... Sure. Although, to be honest, I would be more afraid of him than I would be of Ghostface. Interesting. Cannot for the life of me tell what these two are. You know I can't. They're just little tiny. I mean, they're like the size of marbles on my screen. Don't know what that is. One of these is from Candyman. I will defer to the wisdom of someone who has actually seen that movie. And I think this is the guy... Who steals your body parts? Is that creep? Is that the movie Creeper? Dead as fuck. Okay. If he, if I have something he wants, he's taking it. Apparently. <laughs> I meant Candyman. Okay, noted. Putting him back. Oh. Unless he's also another dead as fuck. Which is a possibility. Creeper is, I got this, he says. Oh, interesting. Man, that was making me want to watch some of these movies. Oh, no, I know. I gotta watch it. I have many horror movies I still need to watch. But sure, I'll put it in I got this just to boost my own. Just to boost my own ego. Oh my god, yeah! We're gonna have fun. Um... He just stays in one particular highway. Oh, yeah, then that's not a fucking problem. Just don't go on that highway. I see an old man with some silver spheres. Does that mean anything to anyone yeah. who is watching? Because it sure doesn't mean anything to me. Phantasm, according to... Phantasm. Chris. What do we think about that? <laughs> Not familiar enough with it. Oh. All right, you know what? We could also call this complete because I cannot tell what some of these other ones are, as in the pictures are just not that high quality. I, I, I want to add one. I know we won't have a picture to place. Okay. Long legs. Oh. Uh, oh, what's the last one? It appears to be three people, one of whom is not wearing a shirt. Firefly ah. House of a Thousand Corpses. Right, right, right. Devil's Rejects. Gotcha. Yeah, still know nothing. Yeah, no. I, I would put uh long legs in the I got this category. Yeah, I yeah. First one is the it's nun just, from I, the conjuring too. I have only seen the first uh, conjuring. I saw both Insidious movies. Those were pretty good. 
I had to make our patron saint part of this. You're so right, queen. Of course, Nicholas Cage. Yeah. Fireflies are dead as fuck for sure. All right. No, come on. There we go. And then, uh, fuck these guys. <laughs> Jeez. Should have gotten a better picture. So this I will save and download for later. Uh, but that's the end of that segment. Hmm. <laughs> so, yes, you may take off the glasses. <laughs> Moving right along. Um, next question I have. What kind of supernatural creature do we think it would be the most fun to be? <sighs> you do have to pick one. Ooh, did I smudge my... Mm, yes, I did. Did, um, so, like... Can we go cryptid? It doesn't really count yeah, as supernatural, sure. does it? Because I feel like Why not? Mothman. I want to fly. I could vibe with being a Mothman. I was gonna say vamp. I was obviously gonna say vampire. Yeah, no, and I, I feel like there's so much that is unknown about Mothman, like food habits. And then you would get example. to know all the things about Mothman. Yeah, and but but it also means like I can imagine my own. I love like, that. This what's does not Man's matter at all. I'm going to go fix this tiny spot on my makeup. I'm going to leave you in charge for three seconds. Oh. Okay. That's, I don't know that that's the smartest I, plan. Cause you know, I don't have things to. That's podcasting, baby. Podcast gold. I believe uh, it is referred to on this particular podcast network. <laughs> oh no, don't. Don't say it's the Brooks show, Chris, because I will just start doing like, uh, all right, so today's theory, you know, I'll start doing like <laughs> theory corner. But I, I, she didn't really answer the long legs question, which is fun because she can still hear me. I guess because I think it is. I answer the long legs question. I think I could make him my <laughs> bitch. <laughs> well. But I, I'm saying, like, it's weird because he, he, as himself, doesn't really do anything. He really doesn't do anything, but he does have the devil on his side. Yeah, and that's the thing, right? I don't So, yeah, honestly, maybe maybe it's a kind of I got this, but like a shaky I got this. Yeah. No way I'm getting taken Just out by of... long legs. On, you know what? If you survive out of spite, then more power to you. I also just like shoehorning long legs in because of all the the reactions of our various Those memes network members. are so fucking funny. Uh, I do like that movie. Oh fuck off! <laughs> See? It's a it's a contentious point within the network, which is why it's fun to bring up. There you go. Um, yeah, I think I would have the most fun being a vampire, but I do love your Mothman answer. Yeah. Just watch Silence of the Lambs. Point taken. <laughs> oh, yeah. Buffalo Bill could have been on the list. Um, probably losing limbs. Yeah. Like, cause he's, he's pretty fucking scary. You know, I also yeah. think being a werewolf could be kind of fun. Like, I think the mm -hmm. whole moon, the full moon, I think it could be cleansing. See, I think part of the reason I wouldn't be interested in being sort of like the classic monsters like that is because there is so much like lore surrounding them and they all seem to have aspects of their lives that I do not like. Understandable. You know, like, because a werewolf, you, like, lose control of yourself. Didn't we kill people? Something like that, no. something to make being a werewolf, like, cool, though. We, like, we're, like, a werewolf re retreat where you just go to have your wolf moment and there's just, like, deer or whatever because they're an invasive species pretty much everywhere. See, but they've tried that in so many movies and TV shows and something always goes wrong. I suppose this is true. So yeah, I'm gonna go vampire. Say that, Chris, I was waiting until she's werewolves. Not a, a bad word. 
I was I was waiting until you you said like fuck or something and I was gonna say that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, you know what? No, I'm I'm still gonna say vampire, which is such a predictable answer for me, but God, it just I feel like Lazo Cravensworth really has the right idea. Become a vampire to suck blood and fuck forever. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like there's something I'm missing, like one that would be really cool, and I'm just not coming up with it for whatever reason. Yeah, I don't know. But, yeah. Well, we can always and think that... about it for another spooky episode someday. That's true. Okay, so the final thing we've got on the docket for tonight is the Halloween edition of Smasher Pass. So we've selected some, uh, not quite horror icons necessarily, but some... Uh, some Halloween icons, let's say. Some spooky movie icons. Yeah, and some, we're going to be playing movies. Smash or Pass. So, coming, clocking in at number one, we have uh, Dwayne... What's his name? Dwayne Jones? Dwayne Johnson? No, I don't remember Dwayne like, any of these people's Bridget, real names. As uh, Ben in... Dwayne Jones, I was right. As Ben in the OG Night of the Living Dead. I... Honestly, I'm going to say Smash because I thought one of the most striking yeah. things about that movie was the fact that they had like a well-dressed, very handsome, dark-skinned yeah. black man as their protagonist. Yeah. So yeah, yeah honestly, I mean, Smash. But even setting that aside, just him as like a person, even not having seen him in the movie or whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's very handsome. Yeah. Good looking guy. Next contestant, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, we have a young Christopher Lee, who I selected because he is most famous for playing Dracula, or at least he yeah. prior to like Lord of the Rings and stuff, he was most famous for playing Dracula, and he was in the original Wicker Man. Hmm. You should have included a picture of him as Dracula. I, I should have. Hindsight is unfortunately twenty twenty. Uh he was also one of the inspirations for James Bond. He was one of the inspirations for James Bond, and he was the only member of the Lord of the Rings cast who have ever met uh, J.R.R. Tolkien. Oh, that's cool. He was a fucking badass. I'm gonna say yeah. Smash. I mm -hmm. like tall guys. Yeah. Look at that little face. I'm here for it. Uh, also, the first two were things that I put in our uh, docs folder. I don't know what Brooks has added, so some of these are going to be a surprise to me. Yeah, are they... Are they? These are probably the only member of the cast order, who's right? killed people as well, lol. Yeah. Sorry, what was yeah. the question? That they're in there in order... Oh, no, they're not in the same... Oh, so they're, they're starting backwards. Okay. Kind of in no particular order. Is that acceptable? Well, no, I was just, I, I want to know when a particular thing is coming. I was just checking. But okay. It seems to be going in. Yeah. Would we like to continue in that case? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I mean, we've, we've talked about this. Tim Curry is Dr. Frankenfurter. As I said yeah. on uh, Regrettable Reviews the other night, Quite possibly the sexiest thing ever put to film. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Smash. I can't say I'm thrilled about the idea of the makeup getting on me. I'm just not a makeup person. I don't. I know <laughs> you are. But... He's like, there's something. The thing is, though, the idea of him ruining his makeup is also kind of hot. Mm. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a freak. Maybe I'm just that nasty, but like, don't care about it. Just not my thing. So you're saying I'm pass? Fine. No. Oh, that was. Thank God. It's like do we need to talk? Smash. And it's not that word, but I said, yeah, I'm just not crazy about the idea of get the makeup getting on me. God, he's gorgeous. Next, please. <laughs> My boy. Most recent weird crush, Herbert West. Mm hmm That might also fix him. Yeah. Jeffrey Combs. Yeah, Smash. He He's adorable. I love him. He he has 
a very like pouty mouth. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> Him as Herbert West. Is that the or are we talking Jeffrey Combs? I mean, for the purposes of this uh, spooky edition, I'm going to say him as Herbert West. I mean, him as Herbert West because of his personality. <laughs> I would say that. Oh, it's, uh, it's still a smash, unfortunately. And no, I don't know what that says about me, but I don't yeah, know. It's just, but Jeffrey Combs is Jeffrey Combs. Sure, Jeffrey so Combs valid, has. Queen. Wei Yun in Star Trek? Nope, still no. <laughs> I am 99% sure I have footage of you saying yes when May was on the podcast. Yeah, no. I'm lying to myself. It's fine. <laughs> Good to know. But yeah, no. Uh, 100% smash. I love him. Yeah. Next, please. We've got... And this is what I meant by, like, Halloween icons. Because Little Shop of Horrors is yeah. not necessarily a horror movie. It's kind of like, you know, it's like a horror musical comedy. But uh, Seymour Crowborn, yeah. protagonist of Little Shop of Horrors, played by Rick Moranis. He's kind of mm -hmm. dorky cute. Yeah, he's adorable. I would say Smash. Yeah, same. Look All that, right. Look at that face. Moving right along. Goth queen, Winona Ryder. Mm. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, of course. 100%. Yeah. She's so gorgeous. I love her so much. And she has slayed in so many iconic Halloween roles. Also, no, absolutely. This is something that came up last night when I was hanging out at the uh, BDM studio before we were recording. Edward Scissorhands was playing on TV, and I hadn't seen that movie in a really long time, but mm. I loved it a shit ton as a kid. Yeah. And I watched it a lot, but I hadn't seen it in a while. And, like, you know, Johnny Depp being a piece of shit aside, that movie is so good. And, like, I didn't realize how fucking great it is because for a while I was like oh I was kind of like like I'm probably just viewing this through like the nostalgia goggles it's probably like you know I probably just love it so much because I was a kid and it like you know really grabbed my attention Tim Burton that is one of the like saddest director fall-offs I can think yeah. of what do you mean the guy who gave us fucking Edward Scissorhands is now like producing Disney slop Edward like that's such a great movie it is so unique and original yep. and inventive oh my god they mm -hmm. do not make them like that anymore no the haircuts what every time he gives all those oh my like, god i know that movie is amazing like i need to sit yeah. down and watch that movie again because i think i'm gonna like gain like a, so much more appreciation from it because just seeing a couple scenes last night i was like holy shit mm -hmm. yeah also uh winona Ryder, she can rock like any hair color yeah, which is kind of unfair. She's been blonde, she's been brunette, she's had black hair, and she crushes it every single time. Smash. Yeah. Next, please. Now, I believe that's the last of yours. <laughs> yes, these were all and my books. Chris, is, do you know what's coming next? You don't know? Alright, there's a one in three chance. Okay. Uh-oh. Do I need to be... Should I be scared? I didn't see anything change. We're getting a hang on. Wait, did you see a change? No. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Is it, like, the wrong file type or something? Why am I receiving a phone call? Screw that. Ooh. What is it, 1999? I know, and this the year of our Dark Lord 2024. <laughs> oh my god. That's not that's right crazy. now. I need to upload other files. All right, well, uh, we can chill until that happens. I, I was concerned about 
your response because I was imagining that you could see a different picture and I was trying to imagine which one it was and why you were reacting that way. I have just been called by the same spam risk number three times in a row. Huh. I do not know what is happening. They they really want you to get that extended warranty. They care about you and your car. I am doing things. Unfortunately. (laughs) Anyway. I am having to function as a human being, unfortunately. Isn't that disappointing? (laughs) I'm laughing at my own shirt again. I'll kiss Paul. I love that. That's so great. That is absolutely adorable. Where did you find that? Amazon. Amazing. This is one of those things where, like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, you you were like, "Mm, that's nice. Don't mind if I do. Because I can't say Hawkins Pockets without laughing. You're so valid. But the idea is, like, I I actually haven't watched it yet because I just got it. But I'm going to watch it tonight and uh, wear it to work tomorrow is the plan. Incredible. 10 out of 10. Excellent. I'm actually teaching on Halloween this year. So I, you know, I was like, oh, I want something Halloween y. But of course, I didn't think about it until like the last minute. Sometimes it do be like that. Yeah. And I thought, this is nice because I could actually wear this year round, really. (laughs) You know, you can. Why not? I, because it's not super Halloween it's it's just. I wear even more aggressively Halloween type things year round. So. You're not do you're not you're not the worst offender. Let's put it that way. <laughs> well, I I do whatever I want to do, as you should, as is your right. I'm a grown up. <laughs> did you have? Did you make any other fun remarks about being a grown up? And no, it's no, yes, no, it's Wednesday. You were not in class today, Jesus, Bridget. No, yesterday I was. Did you make any more fun remarks about being a grown-up? I... It's hard to say. (laughs) (laughs) Every time I say anything along those lines, I always think of the John Mulaney bit where there should be a third option on true or false, which is, who's to say? (laughs) And that just always springs to my mind whenever anyone says anything even remotely close to that. I did regale uh, my students with tales of cable Ooh. and console televisions. You know, like the big honking, like, wooden... The one where it was, like, a piece of furniture TM. Yeah, and that's why I was like, you know, in, in a way, I sort of missed that. It was cool to have, you know, be able to sit decorations on top of your TV and... That is kind of... I feel like that's... I feel as though that is where the kind of entertainment center has has come in in the age of the flat screen tv Mm -hmm. but a lot of people don't even do that they just like mount it on the wall and it's i don't know the wall mount thing is i mean even if you do the wall mount thing though you can always have the like the shelf underneath where you have like your blu-ray player or your other console like your gaming console whatever yeah although i i don't remember if i've ranted about this on the pod before but (laughs) One of my biggest pet peeves is when people mount TVs over a fireplace. Is it because it's too high? It is way too high, first of all. Second of all, it just looks stupid. You know what subreddit you would love, but in an ironic way, because it's full of something you hate? There's a subreddit called TV Too High, and it's so funny. Oh, God, I hate it. It's supposed to be eye level. That's how it's supposed to work. You shouldn't have to... Yes, you know, hard to agree. Bend your neck to look upward. It drives me insane. Like, why? Why? And I don't know. People think they're doing something slick interior design-wise. Yeah, and, and you know, I, as a person in my late 30s, one of my all-time favorite hobbies is looking at houses on Zillow. <laughs> you judge them and, harshly. Well, but so often when they stage the houses, they're like, oh, yeah, look, there's plenty of room for a TV, but it's mounted over the fireplace because there's literally nowhere else to put it. And I'm like, that's not a selling point, friend. You do hate to see it. You make me not want this house. I mean, not that I can afford to buy a house right now anyway, but I like to look. It's fun. Can anyone? (sighs) 
not in this economy. In esta economía, tres leches. This time it actually I'll, really did myself though. out. Hey. Oh, wonderful. All right. Who am I looking at? So this this is the uh, the main character from They Live. Okay. Which I described to you before as you have he has a he has a lot of one liners and he carries a gun that he just shoots people with. It's great. Um, he's got a pretty sick mullet. I kind of wish I could see his face. It's yeah, not the problem a was pass. It it was very like last minute and the the glasses serve a purpose in the film and it was hard to find a picture where he wasn't wearing them. Gotcha. It sure is Roddy Piper. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, I mm, it's I mean, not having, a pass. Having, Let me put it having that Having actually seen it, I I don't know, I'd probably end up passing. Okay, that's fair. The original was unsupported. Oh, I think Noted. that was the one that was the weird file type, but again, I was doing it so quickly. Mm. Uh, shall we move along? Yeah, there's only two left, so it's a real... That's fine. <sighs> Girl, hard pass. <laughs> That's the one I said was a joke. <laughs> The worst thing is, I know if I showed this to May, there's a non-zero chance she would say smash. That's what I thought for you, because you... <laughs> Listen, I may be a monster fucker, but I do still have standards. It's the alien from They Live. My little fucker. Yeah, friend. no thank you. Pass. <laughs> okay, the other... The, I, there's, I only have one more, and it's, it's serious. But I know what you were going to say. Oh... <laughs> yeah smash girl come on she's so pretty she's got the karen allen type vibe yeah yeah that's a, yeah. that's a smash from me yep Just i like it works suspiria in there that, god that is such a good movie <laughs> really really is all right so that concludes our halloween smasher pass uh segment and that is going to bring us into the weekly worsening if we could get mm -hmm. the meditation and reflect on how we have become mm -hmm. worse mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you are without doubt the worst pirate i've ever heard of listen q ball you're only making it worse thanks that even makes it worse it's worse than you know it usually is i think that's the worst thing i've ever heard that's the worst goodbye i've ever heard and you stole it from a movie how marvelous I know you have uh, several large worsenings this week, Bessie, as do I. So, who who wants to go first? <laughs> Big sigh. <sighs> Either way. So, um, I will be seeing the band Ghost twice, at least twice, in 2025. Because they have said okay. more dates to be announced. And I already have tickets to two of them. I will be seeing them in New York City at Madison Square Garden. And I'll be seeing them in Baltimore with a bunch of my friends. Huh. Okay. So, I am ungodly fucking excited. But it's not until uh, summer of 2025. It's a little while off. It's a little ways gotta, off. We gotta get through the dark months. Yeah. But hey, that gives me something to look forward to. Um, and the other way that I'm worse was inspired by the fact that I have this little Herbert West plushie with a squeaker. And I was like, oh, he can yap. He can communicate. So that inspired me to do this. Nice. I put a squeaker in the bootleg plushie. Nice. So now he can communicate yep. as well. Oh, they can have conversations. That's nice. They can have conversations. Um, I think that was, that's the those are the two main ways that I'm worse is just mm -hmm. deepening ghost brain rot of mm -hmm. various kinds. But you, you, my friend, made a decision. 
Yeah, an, an, an unintended one. Yeah. So it was a I wild went to... series of texts to receive. <laughs> Put that out there. I don't. Yeah, I say I, that I, no shade, because yeah. I am the same way as a person. Yeah, I because it caught me by surprise that I was even considering it. I'm like, am I actually thinking about this? Like, you know, that kind of. But uh, I went to Rexpo on Saturday, the Reptile Expo. And I'd never been to one of those before. I Like, I didn't quite know what to expect. Mm -hmm. And it, it was crazy. Like, tables just covered in, like, snakes and various types of chameleons and geckos and frogs and scorpions and tarantulas. That sounds like a wonderful time and I would love to go. Yeah, and the way they had them displayed, like, I just wasn't expecting it, I guess. Like, there were just so many more than I expected. And they let you, like, hold anything you wanted. And so, like, I got to hold a tiny baby tortoise. It was so cute. It was so very little. Um, and I held a, a little beardy that I really, really wanted. But you have to feed them, like, fresh fruits and veggies every day. And I could never. I can't like, even do that for myself. No. Right? <laughs> And it's like, how would I ever well, frankly, I would treat myself better that I would treat a bearded dragon better than I treat myself. Full disclosure. Oh, yeah. I I always say pets get my energy before I do. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was it was a purely it was a pure delight. I walked around the whole time with like this giant grin on my face and like talked to animals constantly, like the vendors kept like looking up because i'd be like oh, you aren't you the cutest little thing ever and it just kept oh doing God, that I constantly love that. that's delightful um including like the giant ones this one does yeah and i saw all kinds of reptiles and um colors and things i'd never seen it was real fun but the thing is my intent was to go just to look never crossed my mind that i would buy another snake <laughs> Like, it had not crossed my mind at all. It wasn't even, like, a shred of a thought in the back of my mind. It was all right. completely unintended. Um, but, you know, sand boas... You know, looking up pictures of Arabian sand boas has been how I cheer myself up sometimes. They look like sock puppets. Absolutely delightful. Yeah. And so when I saw that this vendor had sand boas i got really excited um and so i got a kenyan sand boa although funnily enough the like little container she was in just says sand boa and i asked them i was like what kind right because there's a bunch of different kinds of sand boa and they were like just the regular kind sure so i had to google sand boa and find a picture that looked like her to find out it was a kenyan sand boa um are we gonna do only four and a half months old Hmm? Are we gonna do a name reveal? Maybe I'll 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 come to that in a moment because I think the thing but, you sent me before we started recording is perfect. Oh yes, this is this, this is all part of the the journey. Wonderful. <laughs> Please continue. <laughs> so she she's four and a half months old. She was born in June, just like Harley, Aww. and um, she weighs fifteen grams. Oh, sweet baby. It's like 1.8 ounces, I think. It's insane. Um, so she's very little. And she has like silky scales. It's so Aww. bizarre feeling. They're so soft. Kind of like Just Ellie. The way that... Yeah. No, even like... You'll, you'll see. But it's like... They're silky. It's weird. But, but she's going to well, be... Because Harley girl. has the keeled scales. Yeah. Yeah. But she's... um. She's going to be a thick girl, two to three feet. So Amazing. she's just going to be like chunky and her head's too small for her body. It's fantastic. Right. And of course the eyes on the top of the head, which is great. Amazing. Um, yeah. So I had talked to my parents on Sunday and, you know, I was kind of updating my mom on what I've been doing the last few weekends. Cause I've been, you know, crazy busy. And I was like, Oh yeah. And so Saturday I did a 5k that I do every year. And then I went to a reptile expo. She was like, Oh, what's that? And so, I was like, think of a craft fair, but they sell reptiles instead of crafts. And so, you know, I told her all about it. And then she changed the subject. And I was like, huh. She doesn't. 
Well, no, she just, like, she thought that was the end of it. And so maybe 15 minutes later, I was like, you know, I'm surprised she didn't ask me if I got anything at the Reptile Expo. <laughs> and her her response was, I didn't think you got anything. <laughs> She's like, did you get something? It's like, yeah, another snake. I can hear her turn to my stepdad and go, Sarah got another snake. <laughs> And his response just being, seriously? That was how he said it. <laughs> Amazing. Like, yes, seriously. You know why snakes are great? Because you only have to feed them like once a week, max. Yeah. It's fantastic. <laughs> She'll eventually I feed be her like, like three twice weeks. a month. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Eventually she can be like three to four weeks apart when she's like grown up. Right. So that's, it's like so convenient. Um, but because it was such a like spur of the moment decision, I didn't have a name picked out in advance like I did for Harley. Right? Mm -hmm. I, like I didn't have time to think about it. I brought her home and immediately was like, "All right, I gotta get go get you a whole bunch of stuff," you know. So I was so focused on that, and no name seems right to me because they're all either like too cute, and she looks like a dinosaur, as my mom put it, which is why I got her the Jurassic Park doors to put in her enclosure. <laughs> Absolutely love it. <laughs> so the cute names don't seem to fit her, but then ones that seem too masculine don't really seem to fit her. I have this like long list. People have been giving me suggestions for days. Um, I had some real fun ones. I have a student who's very insistent that I should name her Kevin. Because That's hilarious. He it's hilarious. I mean, it is hilarious, but. I think um, what you sent me is perfect. Yeah. And so it was the name that I had thought about a few times but i hadn't thought about it seriously until today for some reason mm -hmm. but i think the name ripley is kind of fun because i love it named after a badass of course of course ripley too bad we don't have the sigourney weaver my beloved button on this show <laughs> god damn it <laughs> anyway. um so named after a badass um, the, one of my major, like, factors in choosing a name is, like, adorable nickname possibilities, because you can call her, like, Ripples, and to me, that's adorable. That is Plus, precious. Kind of ripples, you know? Yeah. A little slithery. Um, you know, just call her Rip, and that's gonna, I'm sorry, calling her, like, Rip Van Winkle and stuff, I know that. Amazing. Um, yeah, and then I have Ripley and Harley. <laughs> that's so... I didn't even realize that I did this because I have Alphaba and Oliver, Ellie and Ollie. Oh yeah. I never thought about like, that. I either. did not realize that I did that until months after I had gotten him. I was like, Oh my God. Yeah. I didn't, I never thought about it. Cause I don't call him Ollie ever. Yeah. I rarely call him Ollie, I but I was like, him. no shit. I always call him Oliver. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I was like, Oliver. I think Ripley is an, excellent name i am a huge fan of that yeah it i i think that's where i'm gonna head because i her placeholder name has been pixel because i thought it was kind of fun that her sides look pixelated yeah. but then i know i'd end up calling her pixie and then i'd have nixie and pixie that's a little too <laughs> much i can't i can't nixie's right here actually on the floor you just can't see her baby. and uh but that was the name my mom really wanted to meet she thought pixie was ad adorable as a name and i also very strongly considered hazel but i love just, ripley i'm obsessed right. with that well so i'm gonna pull it dig her out again tonight <laughs> she she hasn't like come out at all i feel so bad but cool. try calling her ripley you know see, see how, how that feels. feels yeah i have to put the snake hook underneath and just kind of drag it around till i feel a little resistance because <laughs> uh with sand boas, I don't trust moving my hand because they're supposed to spring out of the sand, you know. Mm -hmm. Understandable. I probably wouldn't. But so I'm going to assume that's like the main way that you're worse this week. Oh yeah, I've spent so much of my time looking up names, uh, you know, buying supplies, reading about Kenyan sand boas. I started looking up t-shirts with Kenyan sand bows on them since I have two hognose t-shirts. It's just, you know, I got to be fair. Understand. And now I'm not numbered four to one. 
by pets. Well, there you go. That's not a bad problem to have. Two cats and two snakes. Yeah, it's a little, a little crazy, but um, yeah, I got real into the name stuff. I was looking up the word like orange in other languages. Aww. <laughs> I was looking up like anime characters, video game characters, Star Trek characters. All so many hours. things to name a pet after. Yeah, and I got a I got a real fun list, but. I, I can't take it anymore. I can't do this anymore. Which, by the way, there's another Rexpo on March 29th. Apparently it's... Uh, oh, yeah. You told me about that. Yeah, apparently it's twice a year, which I don't know that I realized that. It's the same huh. weekend as our Insomnia Film Festival here. Nice. All yeah. right. Well, with that massive worsening out of the way... I yeah. think that's going to bring us to a close <laughs> for our Halloween episode for y'all. As always, thank you for fighting with us, friends. We appreciate each and every single one of you. We hope you have the most banger Halloween ever. If you're in the Albany area, hit us up at the Bull and mm -hmm. Bee Meadery for the Big Dumb Monster Mash from 7.30 to 9.30. There's going to be karaoke, costume contest, prizes, trivia. It's going to be an awesome time. So come hang out with us. And if you're not in the Albany area, I hope you have fun doing whatever it is you do on Halloween. Stay safe. Have a blast. We will see y'all next week. Adios, everybody. This week's episode of the Fighting with Friends podcast was hosted by Bridget Kelly and Dr. Sarah Brooks. You can find other episodes of the podcast on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, or your other favorite listening platform. Catch us live on Twitch every Wednesday and Thursday. And for ad-free live broadcasts of the show, you can subscribe to our Twitch channels or consider donating to our Patreon for ad-free access to our entire library of past episodes and streams, as well as fun bonus content. Fighting with Friends is a member of the Big Dumb Monsters podcast network. Check out the links in the description for more episodes from us and from all of the shows on the network. Thanks for listening!